What is happening, wonderful world of the interwebs? Welcome back to another episode of the Dude Pool Games Cast. I'm the host with the most, the Dude 250, hanging out with my man, Taylor, the video game Schwarzenegger Sager, aka Aliens Exist. How are we doing today? Good. That's right, we are, and we're also hanging out with my man, coming all the way from the UK land, his name B, <laughs> Danny P, Danny Peel, the brutal nature. How are we, you beautiful bastard? I am warm, fellas. Warm in here. Mm. Warm mm. from the mm. inside out, head mm. to toe. <laughs> He's warm. <laughs> I'm warm. It's because of the good to awesome be warm. stuff we have yeah. to deliver yeah. this week, yeah. right, Danny? That's why you're feeling so warm and cuddly? That's right. Precisely. You know it. Mm. Absolutely. Well, we have a pretty sensual topic today coming from a very warm man why don't you drop the bomb drop the mic danny peel what are we talking about i'm not, I'm not dropping this mic this cost me quite a bit of money <clears throat> that's fair uh, oh well the topic today place that mic gently on the ground and tell me what we're talking about baby. no i'm using it right now i'm not putting it anywhere. throw right. it away okay 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 the topic for today is uh god of war 4 because the leak, War Thor. there was a little bit of a leak that came out there, and for all we know, it could be just a nothing. It could be a nothing. But it interested me because, first of all, I love God of War, and I have done since the first one came out. Uh, the first one came out, and right. it was everything I'd been waiting for that kind of game uh, genre to, to do for me. Up, up until then, it felt like a lot of kind of corridor kind of shit. And suddenly, here's yeah, this, this massive scale, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, so, getting to the point. God of War 4 looks like we're changing it up big time and we're going into Norse mythology, which is oh, awesome. Really? Which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, my take on that before I hand it over to you guys is uh, I think that is super fucking rad as fuck. And I'm very <laughs> excited to see what, because I mean, of all the other mythologies out there, I mean, the Roman one, not too interested in that. Uh, Greek's been done. It's been done to death now with that franchise. So I'm really excited to see Kratos battling these Norse gods and, and stuff. So I mean, what do you guys? What do you guys think about that? So, you, so you're still playing as Kratos, obviously. We don't know. Oh. Well, it, look, the model. The there was beard. a leak image of Kratos, and he has a full beard God. this time, and he's got yep. new new threads, and he's looking like it, it, it's Kratos. So it looks like it is going to be Kratos mm. again. I don't mind that. They haven't confirmed or denied whether it is Kratos or not. I hope well, it's not. His story was done just done. That arc was over after three, and that was a perfect ending. I hope they get the spirit of Kratos in a new character. I don't. I don't know what kind of maybe one of his sons or some shit. Throw in one there. of his great 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 grandsons or some shit. Like sure, a descendant works for me. Like just not. Don't name him Kratos either. Like no. Maybe maybe I don't know. Thoros. Thortos or something, <laughs> right? I don't give a fuck. Something a bit... Uh, something that did that connects to Kratos, but also is its own storyline. Sure. Because if it's just Kratos on another revenge rant, I, it's <laughs> going to be a little played out. <laughs> um, well, isn't... There's a, a Norse god that that's a chick who's super hardcore isn't it isn't it freya or something isn't that a norse god but um yeah, yeah. i mean you could totally have that where you where you play as one of the female norse gods it's not going to happen though they've and, shown the image of the beard of oh, kratos with the not. red tattoos obviously it's not going to happen that way but i mean i think that if you could do a descendant i would feel really good about being um one of the female gods of in the norse mythology stuff which would have been really cool sweet but, mm. Clearly, they're not going to be doing that, which, no. like you said, I mean, if they're just going to do Kratos again, I don't feel as interested in it. Like, yeah. I want to have a different character. I want it to be a completely new thing instead of it just being like Kratos is just going to be like time hopping between different eras and like fucking up different gods. Like, yep. that's going to be the sequel from now on. <clears throat> well, I mean, the strength of that character couldn't carry him through Ascension as the sales were pretty mediocre for that in comparison to 3 and 2. Uh, and same with the sales for the God of War 3 remaster that came out on PS4. Right. Didn't, like, Metro outsold that. The remake mm -hmm. of Metro on PS4 mm -hmm. outsold the remake of God of War 3, which isn't a really good sign hmm. for one of, like, PlayStation's main brands. Right. You know? Um, so I think having it connected to Kratos, but calling him something different 
uh, have the same similar look. He's still an angry motherfucking meathead that wants to destroy <laughs> people and go after the gods because they fucked him over in some way. I, I'm okay with all of that, and that sounds fucking sweet to me, and I like the fact that it's in the North, myth, Norse mythology now, and we get to go fight in, like, maybe do a game in Valhalla and do a game in uh, Asgard and, you know, maybe d destroy people in Iceland. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. But it, it, it's really cool. I think it's a, a great way to shake up that franchise and revitalize it. I, I didn't think of that, right? Just yeah. different gods. Yeah. Same angry person. Awesome. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. But if you have him named Kratos, and God damn it, if he yells Calliope once in that game, I'm going to puke. Uh, yeah. I'm okay with it. I think it sounds fucking rad, and I think that's an ingenious way to shake up that franchise. But I do think you need to disconnect a little bit from Kratos. Not entirely, yeah. but a little bit. Right? Yeah. Do you think that they think he's like the Mario of the franchise? Like that you just can't get rid of him? Like people won't play the game if you don't have Kratos kind of thing? Like, Well, he is a staple of the thing. Like, I feel like the, the, the huge environments and the fact that you're fighting these gods and like that whole thing. And like, I mean, you can, you can attach a story to it, to a new character. And I would totally still play those. Yeah. Games. But I people don't... got attached to that character. There's people with Kratos tattoos. Like that's, that's pretty intense. Yeah. I love Kratos. So that's yeah, true, I think yeah. he is kind of, I think, he, I, I don't think you can take Kratos out of God of War, that character type anyway. No. Uh, right. I think having a descendant of Kratos makes a lot of sense to me. Sure. You know, there's a lineage there. It's connected. Embody the spirit. The same, like, it's, a, it's part of universe yeah. building is what it's doing, right? Cause, sure. Yeah, it's a totally different mythos and mythology, so it would have to be separated at some point. By something. But By I, something, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't seem... I mean, I, I mean, it's if it's as simple as, like, Hades is pissed off and he resurrects fucking kratos in a new universe to fight all these other gods that pissed him off or something <laughs> dumb like that like that's just silly to me right see i kind of uh, like that I, I, it's it I, seems so lazy i feel like it's gonna be sort of similar to that where like he finds himself in in a new land or like the the people stop believing or something in in the gods that that he knows of essentially and the fact that they're believing in these new gods right like makes them more powerful essentially or whatever and he has to defeat them i think danny also might po probably come from the other side of the fence where he is really attached to kratos as a character so i would so. love to see yeah. kratos just keep going and going and going <laughs> right i'm sure if he if he got tattoos he'd probably have a kratos tattoo i know it's one of his favorite characters over the last decade and a half of gaming yeah so it's interesting to hear his side of things like well, would you rather just see straight up kratos is there and it's kratos again if given the opportunity, like the uh, choice, yeah, man, I want more Kratos because I love that guy. I think he gets a bad rap, and I actually think he's he's fucking cool as hell, just because he's crazy and ridiculous and over the top. And I don't think there's like, right. Everyone's... Just, what else would he be mad at? Like at the very end of three, spoiler alert, when he like kills himself with the blade of Olympus and jumps into the ocean, that's a pretty awesome finale for a story. Yeah. What else yeah. is he mad at? He even like you can see it in his face. He's like, that's it. There's no more yeah. point for me to be here anymore. <laughs> maybe done. maybe he's not as mad this time. Maybe there's other motivations <laughs> driving him. <laughs> he's just, everybody relax. Calm it's, down. It's we can talk chill. about he, this. No, all right, I'll put an axe in your face. Like, maybe it's an RPG like, and you have, like, like uh, chat dialogue options. And he just talks his way out of fights all the time. And everyone has right. a cup of tea. <laughs> would you, would tea you really strong. like that game? Is that the Kratos you want? <laughs> He's sitting there making fucking daisy chains, like, peace and love, bro. Listen to me. We mustn't fight here. Yeah. No, that's not the greatest game I want. No. Sure? But at the same time... I just see that... I thought 3 was an awesome conclusion to Kratos' story. And yeah. bringing him back just feels like people dipping in the well again to me. You know what I mean? Like, just do it because it's a hook and it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas they could build a new character that you love equally as much, because and eventually you might like him because he's got a beard. <laughs> you might be like, he's better than Kratos, man. Look at that manly beard, <laughs> two axes, and he just ripped Thor's dick off. That's pretty <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Um, so I think build a new character that give it a chance to to love that character just sure. as much and and bring it forward. I mean, if it's a descendant, then sure, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Or is it no? Connect I, it in some way. Like I feel like based on like what you're saying about the sales with like the the revamps and and stuff like that, like I feel like going a different direction isn't necessarily a like a super risky route for them either. I don't feel like they're like like 
going to give up a whole bunch apparently because i mean they're not really getting a whole bunch of sales from the games that they've made with kratos now or like the yeah but i also when i say that i picture the fat cats in suits making the decisions not the game makers and they're just like no no no, use kratos (laughs) he sold this many units in a lifetime don't build a new person sure but i mean you could you could go to those guys with like i mean the the stats right like like I'm sure that there's other games out there with with characters, those like those focal characters that you can't get rid of, and based on those characters, they're selling more games, right? They're selling their old games, like the Uncharted Collection is selling like tons of games, and then you could be yeah, but they're gonna get rid of Nate. <laughs> yeah, and you could have fat cats arguing, no, you can't get rid of Nate because we're still selling all these old games with him and shit. Like they sell like hotcakes, you can't get rid of this character, right? Right. Whereas you could be like, well, the, these Dark Soul games are these. Uh, but these... it's a different. It's different scenario because this is a first party title and it's not uh, well, it's first party. yeah but does does sony own naughty dog yeah they bought yeah. naughty dog a while ago oh okay yeah. cool yeah interesting i also feel like they probably get more leeway with their creativity than santa monica studios does oh probably yeah. but i mean, i think that in that in this scenario you could be like you know look like this is this is where we're at i don't think that kratos is the focal point like I mean, and you can you can of the branch, franchise. You could branch out and and he do is. something different. Yeah, he's obviously is. the main character, right? He is, and the, and his story is the main the main point no, of that. When of anybody that mentions story. God of War, you immediately think of Kratos. Immediately, yeah, nothing else. But you, the story ended, like you said, and yes. you can have a different story with a descendant, absolutely, and completely redo the game and have it like a, a well, not completely redo it yeah, have it the same game with different gods and different yeah sort of but what i'm saying is you couldn't it, sort of it would game. be a bad move to just make a new character slap the god of war title on it yeah. and have zero connection to kratos i think, I would upset no, I think, I think that's a bad move i think there should be connection well, i think it should be saying. a descendant like, that means that means he is a focal point of the franchise i guess he has so, yeah. to be in there that's a good point yeah, yeah. i didn't realize that but I, I don't think that you even really need him as long as you tie it in as like but He's dead now. This is a new guy who is who is essentially connected because it's like it is the, it is God of War. So like it should, I guess, be his spirit that's in a new person or whatever. Right. If you're going to do a new person, sure. but uh, I I just I don't know. I feel like you could you could easily um, I don't know argue for for the change in character on that one. Whereas yeah, but other games you couldn't really argue as as solidly for for a change in character. Sort of. I mean, they just do spinoffs with Mario all the time and stuff like that too, right? But Right. Yeah, I think you have to have Kratos in there in some way, shape, or form. Period. Whether it's connected through Descendants or whatever. There has to be a tie-in with the old God of War franchise. Yeah. At some, what, at some level. What if, has to be. at the start of the game, you're playing as a new person, completely new person, and you kill Kratos? That doesn't make sense. When the <laughs> fuck is the Greek mythology going to meet up with the Norse mythology? Well, I mean, when, how is Kratos getting into the Norse mythology in the first place? He's then? not. It's a Descendant right? thing. Right? Oh, well, is what well, I'm thinking. We don't know. We yeah, don't yeah, even yeah. know it's Kratos yet. Yeah. But yeah, if they just start a new thing and they're like, "Eh, fuck what happened in the past. We're just gonna name this guy Kratos, and now he's angry yeah. at these gods." It's I think that's lazy it's as a shit. Different wife that gets killed or whatever. But I think that's lazy and it bugs me. By Odin or something instead. Yeah, if it's just another revenge tale, like I'll be a little bit perturbed. Mm-hmm. Like it could be a revenge tale, but if it's like very long beat for beat, like. Okay, they killed his wife and then his kid and then he came <laughs> back. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It'd be cool to see him have new weapons, but I think they're going to keep the same thing as well. Well, he's no, he's got two axes. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they, and they're not on chains? It doesn't look like it. I don't know. Well, there was a lot of different weapons in those the, games, anyway. The, the Kratos that yeah, they yeah, saw yeah. in the screenshot looked very much pre-dead Kratos, you know? Kratos dies and then comes back from the, the gods resurrect him or whatever because he, he wasn't white. He wasn't pale-skinned. He mm-hmm. was regular skin-toned, <laughs> you know? Like, a, I guess that's racist. Not really. Like, he was uh, <laughs> like a, a Scandinavian skin-toned or whatever, yeah. right? And uh, bald with a big beard. He had the red tattoos. Right. But I think that he'll probably end up dying and going paler skinned again. And that was like from him like massacring that town or something, wasn't it? In the first ones, like he massacres an entire town of innocent people, and then the I think it was just from killing his family, and then it was like like the ashes attached. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mm -hmm. it was his family. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I like that. I like I like all that that imagery that they do with with Kratos. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's why I want to see them do it with a new character. It's like you've built up this whole thing with Kratos, and he's got all these like these parts to him, and all these like different things that have happened to him and stuff like that. And now it's just like you're gonna 
Like, are you you're really going to keep climbing that mountain to try and like yeah. get this this intense dude or whatever? Or like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like you could you you could leave that story where it is, and you could start again with with a descendant. Or I, with... Yeah, I just still think that the character to keep in line with the franchise and tonally, he's got to be like a barbarian type character. Yeah, right. A and rage it's case barbarian type character mm-hmm. that just sticks with the tone of the franchise. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you got to be fighting for the god of war position essentially. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, that's right. He's yeah. got to be meaner than Hercules and shit. You know, he yeah. just does. He's got to be an angry motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> but he's got to have a legit reason to be pissed off. Right. right. Yeah. I'm kind of excited. What are you thinking? Like in terms of gameplay and stuff, do you want to see anything change, Danny, or do you want it very much along the same lines? Uh, well, as far as uh, the scope of it, um, and <clears throat> just the like the style of the game, while you have your set camera angles, I don't mind that at all. I know a lot of people, a lot of criticism it would get would be, oh, I can't move the camera. But I think that, that's the point. That's God of War. You don't go to yeah. God of War to get something that you get everywhere else. You go to God of War to get right. that God of War experience. As far as like the weapons mm-hmm. go, I mean, they've experimented with a lot of different weapons in the franchise already. So I feel like they could kind of put anything in there and it would feel really good. So. Uh, yep. I would. I mean, it's been a while since we've had a God of War game, so I'm kind of ready for another one. Um, and if it's a little bit more of the same, but it's in a new kind of story and a new kind of realm and era and things, that's fine by me. And uh, I'm happy to play another one. I'd like them, if I had one criticism, I'd like them to step back and rethink how often they use quick time events yeah. and a better way to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know what that better way would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for me, uh, I'd like them to take a cue from like fucking Shadows of the Colossus. You know, fight boss battles that way instead yeah. of quick time events. You're climbing Maybe. all over them and actually battling them. I don't know. I'm just spitballing, but try and do something that's not so quick time heavy. Yeah, yeah. That worked on PS2, that... but because it was it was it, the yeah, best exactly. way to use it. And but, then by yeah. the time three came. The visuals were super cool, but that gameplay mechanic's not just not fun or challenging or anything like that. Right? It's not challenging. I don't know if it's not fun. I think it can be fun just from a visual spectacle yeah, sure. kind of certainly standpoint. Can. Yeah, just it's certainly yeah, not I challenging agree. as you're like grinding a dude's face into like pulp or whatever. I mean, it, yeah, you mentioned uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you mentioned Ascension before, like as if it was like a low point in the franchise i actually thought it ascension was. was a really underrated game um, a lot of people talk kind of down on it i thought it was a fun game and the boss battle at the end is one of the most memorable boss battles i've ever had that fucking cracking at uh, the end it just for me the ascension lacked any real kind of depth because his story was over i thought three ended so well and i know it's a prequel but i yeah. just didn't care i knew where it was going and then they just started adding it turned into a little bit of gore porn for me. They started doing yeah. just disgusting kind of shit. Yeah. Just because they didn't really have much of a hook there for the story. Sure. You know, like stabbing a screaming elephant man till his brain comes out <laughs> and bugs crawling through witches' titties and weird shit like that. They were just gross imagery, which is neat for a minute, but it didn't have the hook that the other ones, I didn't care about it as much. You know, yeah. I, I wanted... To see Why the am end I fighting of these, yeah, with you know, it you know? was, it was interesting. I, I still think it's a good game. game. The gameplay was fine. Yeah, I just, I, I only, re- I don't, I don't think it was a low, a low point, per se. I just think it shows that Kratos was his popularity was waning as a character. I just mm. brought up the sales to prove that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's fair. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think the new game's gonna be good. I think that like these guys aren't that stupid. Um, they're not gonna um, do something that's not gonna be, I guess, in line with the other games that they make, right? Like they know what I think they know what they're doing and and the type of tone that they want to set with the type of games sure. that they make and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. And I don't think they have a problem doing that. Um, I just I personally to get me to be more excited about this game, I personally would like to have something like just to shake it up a little bit and like. Having somebody who's not named Kratos would be enough for me to to probably yes, that's that's what I was saying too. At least too. play the demo. It'll feel fresh and new. Again, if you have a, even if he's very much in line with the same character archetype, changing yeah. the name yeah. and connecting him to Kratos in some yeah. way, I think is a great move. Yeah. Or yeah, or something. Yeah, just show me something new to grab onto. Yeah, exactly. a new story. Show me, show yeah. me the the new little yeah new little trinket that right? I'm 
I want to get my hands on. Yeah, show some originality. Yeah. Yeah. People like that. I do. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm stoked. I can't wait to play it because I like those games and I have a lot of faith in that studio. Santa, Mon- Santa Monica Studios produces really, really good shit. Mm-hmm. And I have a feeling that they've been working behind closed doors on this for quite some time. So I'd yeah, like to see thing, yeah. what they got to show us. And I, I bet we'll see, see more at E3. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was going to ask. Yep. Yeah, I feel like it's going to... I, I think they're going to give us something crazy. I, I feel like if they announce... Uh, Eddie 3 which it looks like they're going to I feel like they're going to tell us something really cool and I'm really excited for that yeah yeah. I mean it'd be fucking wild if they were like winter release 2016 but oh, wow. who knows they might do that I mean it's it, it's not unheard of it's the hot thing to, yeah it's the hot thing to yeah. do yeah. now yeah. 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 yeah I think people saw that fallout thing and were like wow that sold like fucking hotcakes yeah. and we don't have to announce years in advance to build this stupid hype train yeah we just have to build good games Mm-hmm. crazy who would have thunk it <laughs> yeah the people who care are going to look like right as soon as you announce it right and they're going to get the word out as soon as you yeah. announce it and then the people who are kind of like straggling on they're going to they're going to want to know about it before it comes mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. i feel like so if you have like less time in there i feel like you're getting just a stronger stronger hype yeah, yeah you create a people. wildfire frenzy instead yeah. of this slow burn that fizzles yeah. out right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's good. And then if you have to um, push it for a couple months, then it's still not that bad. It's still only like seven or eight months away from when you announced it instead of like sure. two or three years. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. God of War. Instead of the Last Guardian shit where, yeah, God of War 4, Ooh. man. <laughs> God of War 4. It's looking good. I'm excited. Give it to I can't me. wait yep. to play it. Yeah, man. So that was our topic for the day. Any final statements on God of War Thor? <laughs> oh, that's actually what they should call it. No, it's not. No, it is not. Oh, come on! That's totally what they. I should won't call buy it if they call it that. <laughs> send them, send them a letter. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. If you Fun like this over. week's topic, check us out on Facebook at facebookcom slash gaming Check us out on Twitter at dudepoolgaming. As always, I'm Nikki D, the Dude 250. That's Taylor Sager. Aliens exist. And Danny Peel, Brutal Nature. We'll catch you next time on the Dude Pool Games Cast. See you later, guys.